हेलो एवरीवन टैवर दैट इज ट्रांस कैथेटर एवोटिक वैल रिप्लेसमेंट इट्स अ न्यूअर मॉडलिटी टू ट्रीट पेशेंट्स विद क्रिटिकल एवोटिक स्टिनोसिस इट इज अ मिनिमली इन्वेजिव प्रोसीजर इन विच अ न्यू वैल इज रिप्लेस्ड इन साइड द डैमेज वैल विदाउट रिमूविंग द ओल्ड डैमेज वैल Usually, these patients with critical aortic stenosis are elderly patients who have multiple comorbidities like diabetes, hypertension, and asthma, lung diseases. So, they are candidates who have high risk of surgical aortic valve replacement. So, this new modality, in which the patient needs to be in the hospital just for three to four days, the surgery is done under local anesthesia. so that we can avoid general anesthesia related complications there are no cuts or there are no wounds the patient is made to walk within 24 hours and discharge in 48 hours we at aditya bella memorial hospital recently did a very complex aortic valve replacement in which we first did coronary angioplasty of one critical block in the same patient followed by aortic valve replacement the patient was discharged in 48 hours and without any complications so we at aditya birla memorial hospital are doing these complex procedure because we have all the facilities under one roof we being tertiary care center we have cardiac surgery we have cardiac anesthetics we have backup of icus soon we are coming up with valve clinics and heart failure clinics so those patients who need to undergo well replacement surgeries or complex cardiac procedures please do visit us because we have the world class amenities and we can help these patients thank you hello everyone today i am going to discuss about a very unique case which we probably did which is the first case of tavi in aditya birla memorial hospital and in the entire pcmc he was a 70 year old gentleman who had critical valvular uh, aortic stenosis he came to our hospital with severe breathlessness he was admitted in the icu and his echo showed critical valvular aortic stenosis with a gradient of 110 by 55 mm of mercury he was stabilized in the icu and then shifted to the ward he underwent pre operative evaluation of ct aortogram and a coronary angiography coronary angiography revealed critical single block in the right coronary artery and aortogram gave us an idea that he is a favorable candidate to undergo tavi all the pre op preparations and all the hardware and the material were planned and the procedure was done in the morning patient the entire procedure was done under conscious sedation and local anesthesia groin or the leg access was taken with large bore catheters and during the procedure first angioplasty was done in 10 to 15 minutes and then tavi was performed the main challenge that we got during tavi was that the person required 220 beats per minute heart rate during pacing to implant the aortic valve in the proper position post implantation patient's blood pressure stabilized and we probably confirmed that the valve was put in the normal location the entire procedure was done in a span of 1 and 1/2 hours groin access was closed with large bore closure devices like proglide and angioseal device there was no hematoma and no bleeding from the leg the patient gradient of 110 on table dropped to 5 mm of mercury echo also revealed a very very good gradient reduction patient was shifted to the icu on that day and shifted to the ward the subsequent day and discharge in the next 48 hours patient's blood pressure was 120 by 70 during discharge pulse was 75 beats per minute and a screening echo done showed mild residual gradient of around 15 mm peak and 5 mm mean gradient across the aortic valve so this is the highlight of the tavi that we did two or three important take home messages this is a procedure which can be done percutaneously within 2 hours time it is done in a conscious state no cut no anesthesia no general anesthesia required 
patient can undergo angioplasty and pacemaker as well as the TAVI in the same setting. Patient was very stable and shifted out of the ICU in 24 hours and discharged in 48 hours. So, this in a nutshell is the highlight of the case, the first TAVI that was done in Aditya Birla Memorial Hospital. Thank you. Vilas Maruti Bansode, Mala Asatra Zala, Garistra Zala, and in Anthermala Hospital Madale. Hospital Alan Anther Emergency Made Pilanilla, Emergency Madun Anthermung, just kill another water Madinilla. Water Madinilla and Anther Mother Maja Trazala Mulamala. काही म्हणजे असं काही सुचत नव्हतं मग डॉक्टरनी मला हे केलं असं नॉर्मल केलं जरा मला त्याच्यावर केल्यानंतर सिटी स्कॅन केलं नंतर एंजियोग्राफी झाली आणि नंतर ज्यावेळेस मला एंजियोप्लास्ट करायची होती तेव्हाच मला दोन दिवस त्यांनी मला हे करून नंतर केलं हे आणि मला असं काहीच वाटलं नाही की असं भीती नाही वाटली काही मनामध्ये आणि काही असं हे पण नाही झालं की त्रास होते मला भूल वगैरे काय दिली नाही मी पाहत होतो सगळं आणि सर्व डॉक्टर पदाने सर और बाकीचे इतर डॉक्टर भी होते सर्वांनी मला म्हणजे असं हे केलं तेव्हाच मी असं म्हटले ना काय नस मधून तुमचं ऑपरेशन होणार आहे छोटंसं काही घाबरायचं कारण नाही आणि दोन अडीच तास म्हणजे माझं ऑपरेशन झालं पूर्ण नंतर माझं जे जे वॉलचं वगैरे असं काम होतं ते सर्व मला पण असं वाटत नव्हतं की बसवलं की असं काय म्हणजे भासत पण नव्हतं आणि नंतर बाहेर आल्यानंतर सर्व आमचे मी त्यांचे आमचे जे रिलेटिव्ह सर्वांनी म्हणजे बाहेरच बसले होते ते त्यांनी सर विचारले कसं म्हणले छान ऑपरेशन झालं काही काळजी करायची नाही आणि आता डिस्चार्ज दिल्यानंतर मी तीन दिवसांनी आत्ता इथे येतो आहे तर मला असं वाटतं की माझं काय झालं नाही ऑपरेशन असं वाटतं की मी पूर्व पूर्व सारखंच दिसतं आणि आता मला आहे ना सर्व म्हणजे कसं चांगलं वाटते आणि सर्व म्हणजे डॉक्टर बदानी सर आणि सर्व टीमचे मला मनपूर्वक असे आभार मानतो आणि मला असं आनंद पण होतो की मी आता पूर्वच चांगला झालं